I am at the Royal Northern College of Music in their theatre where I'm joined by Hugh Hunt, Katie Steckles and Rob Easterway to do a maths inspiration show. This is the final, the third of three videos where I have challenged my maths colleagues to show me the best bit of mathematics they can fit on a single postcard. Katie is now doing her talk. This is the feed from out in the theatre and see there she is and some maths is happening. So while that's going on, I'm going to go try and find Rob backstage to get some maths out of him. I've now got Rob Easterway who was out playing mind games with the students. Yeah, playing playing kind of probability games, getting and making decisions, and if they made good decisions, they had a better chance of winning something. Oh, okay. So, what were they winning? Uh, they won chocolate. Chocolate. Few uh, things motivate a teenager like uh, and a, chocolate. Except cuddly toys. And a cuddly the finale. Toy? Yeah, they got a cuddly toy as well. Wow. Young people these days. Okay, <laughs> so Rob is now going to show me some mathematics on a uh, postcard. So there you are, sir. Okay, am I allowed to? I'm, I'm going to deface. I'm not going to ask permission for this. I'm going to deface You're your card. Oh, good. Everyone okay. else just wrote on I it. I know. I'm going to cut it in half. You'll see why. It's so you want a good two cord. smaller postcards. Two smaller postcards. Ooh, let me just uh, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, right. Excellent. So now you can. You, it's still going to be the same amount of maths. It will. But on one of these cards, I am going to put a cross. A cross. Okay, you've got an X on that I've one. I've got an X on that one. Good All right. the others are blank. Yep. <laughs> what I'm going to do is put the cards into this bag. Right. Shuffle them around. This is a willful attempt to get around the rules. Ask you to pick out a card and don't turn it over, just reveal just take yeah, the one side. Yeah, we just want to see one side okay, of it. Okay, I got one. Yeah. Okay, right bring it out. Put bring it out. Thing. Put it on the thing. Okay. And okay. Okay. So, here's the question. Right. Yeah. What is the chance that on the other side of that card there is an X? Oh, okay. okay. So remember, we've got two cards. We've got one that's double blank and one a blank, one blank and, an and a thing. Okay. So you've so got one of the two cards. I bet most people say 50-50. Most people do say 50 people. I can see why. Because there are yeah. two cards. Exactly, there are two cards. cards. And one of them is the double blank and one of them is the... I'm thinking, what am I looking at? I'm looking at a blank card. On the back could be either a blank card or a yes. cross. But yes. actually, I could be looking at any one of three blank faces. And only one in three blank faces has a cross on the other side. Uh, exactly so. So it's I, a bit counterintuitive. I'm never There's, yeah. fully confident with probability. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a third. I'm going to go with a third. A third? Okay. A third. I, mean, I mean, this is one particular case. It, I mean, it is? Checking that doesn't prove... All. No, it's a blank. It's a blank. Uh, but it was more likely to be blank than to have a cross on the back. Yeah, I, I love probability questions like this. The one in three right? chance. You were right. You were right. To, uh, it was a one third, one third chance it would be a cross yep. and a two thirds chance it would be that because you weren't taking out a card. It was like you were taking out a face of a card. Yes, and there's people three get focus faces. on the cards. Yep. It's actually the faces, cross or not. And this is, this is similar maths to... Uh, one of my favourite all-time puzzles, the Monty Hall game, where you have to choose to stick or swap, and it's not between two doors or two buckets, and it feels like a 50-50 chance, and it's actually one-third, two-thirds, so it's very like this. That's true, and Monty Hall, I mean, there are loads of Monty Hall videos online, if you want to check them out, they're great fun. And you did a variation with the students. I did. I, I you did five bucket Monty Hall. I did. And you get the kids to pick three. Yes. And then you take away a bunch of buckets. And what I love is they've all, a lot of kids now have just watched YouTube videos and memorized, you've got to switch. And you set it up so they, that sticking was the correct. Depending on which version of the game I play, sometimes sticking is better, sometimes switching is better, just because these games are complicated. There's no good learning in the background. Oh, you're supposed to always switch. It depends. Given that this is now a blank, smaller postcode, would yep. you mind quickly just showing us the version of Monty Hall? that you did with the students? So the version I did had uh, five buckets. Can you, can you give us a uh, so I just draw my yep, yep, five yep, yep. buckets here. So there we go. I'm going to do them upside Oops, down. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So an audience member now chooses three of the five so I buckets. Want, I want the left three. OK, you've picked those three. Yep. I now, having I warned them in advance, I would be turning over three buckets, two of theirs and one of the others. Buckets that I knew did not have the prize underneath it. That's the key. Right. I had to make it clear. So you take out, let's say you take out two of these. Yes. You take out one of those. Yes. So we're now and left so with these we're two. We're left with those ones yes. there. Yes. And so now we 
You asked, did you want a stick or switch? Yes. But actually, this was a three-fifths chance. Yes. It was here somewhere. Yes. Versus a two-fifths, and so sticking is the correct. So sticking is better because that was 60% chance, that was 40% chance. So in so this case, stick. they oh, should stick. so good. All right, now, uh, for completeness, can I back the other half of my postcard? Right, so there you are. So Rob's managed to give us two interesting bits of maths by destroying my postcard. Do go have a play, because if you've got friends who think they know Monty Hall, play the version where the optimum strategy is reversed. So that is one postcard's worth of mathematics. If you want to see the other two postcards worth of maths, you can check out the other two videos in the series. And if you are a teacher, we do these maths inspiration shows all around the UK. They're great fun. We have different speakers every time. And we thoroughly enjoy exciting your students with mathematics. And so they go back to the classroom, hopefully more eager to learn. You can check out more information on it at mathsinspiration.com. It'll be great to see you at one of these.